All right, let's load up. All right, so judging from my auto save, we're in the Minerva lobby. Uh, okay, so let's kind of remember what happened. We were introduced to our character who is, uh, I forget her name right now, her code name, something 88. But her full name is Luna Vega de la Cruz. Yeah, I think it is ES88, but her actual name is Luna Vega de la Cruz. And she is an Esper. Meaning she is she has psychic powers to an extent. And she's used them to bond with something called a Neurodiver, which is this little squid-like creature. And she works for this corporation called Minerva, which is sending her out as a memory detective of sorts. She uses the Neurodiver as her partner to dive into people's memories and discover anything that's been corrupted or missing, anything that's been messed with from outside forces. Everything is set in a cyberpunk future. This is a sequel to a game called 2064 Read Only Memories. At the end of last episode, we finished um, doing memories from a character named Lexi Rivers, who was formerly a cop in the first game, who is now no longer a cop. She has seen the error in her ways and that all cops are bastards. And she is now just a private detective. So we met Lexi and then we finished reading her memories and we came across the villain of the game at the very end of that section, which is uh, a, a golden, golden butterfly was the cold code name. Looks kind of like a stand from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. The golden experience. <laughs> But we don't know what Golden Butterfly is. It just happens to be messing with people's memories kind of randomly at this point. We've been tasked with chasing down Golden Butterfly and finding out exactly what it is and what its motives are. We also have a handler slash manager named Gate, who is... Um, yeah, we'll meet Gate. And then also there is uh, a couple other side characters who we may meet along the way. I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Let's talk to Lucy here at the front desk. Maybe she'll tell me. Good evening, ES88. Is there anything I can help you with? No, I'm good. Just wanted to say hi. How's volume on the game? Can you hear it? know if you need anything little louder I can do that hold on I'll just exit real quick and then I'll turn it up slightly Bump it up just a little bit. And this is fine because I see people are still trickling in. We haven't gotten started yet, but we're getting there. Let's go. All right, let's, I guess we'll go to the North Hall. Maybe we were supposed to talk to uh, people in the lab. Does Harold have anything to say? Z, thank you so much for the raid. Yo, 1626 Neon Beats. GG, Z, that's awesome. That's a huge improvement. I think that puts you, what, in fourth place, I think? GG's. Everybody coming over with Z. My name is Soulmast218. I primarily speedrun games that are atmospheric and physics motion-based. So I speedrun stuff like Journey, Abzu, 
Shadow of the Colossus, Greece, all of those kind of games, the, the moody stuff. Um, but tonight is my Let's Play Backlog Night. This is episode two of me playing Read Only Memories Neurodiver, which is a cyberpunk point and click adventure type of game. Mostly text based, but there's point and click stuff in it. Until Mina takes fourth back? Yeah, maybe. I know Mina's coming back. Everybody wants to play ne Neon Beats. Nat Marek, thank you for uh, for joining us with the stream. Good to see you. But yeah, that's Hype-Z. GG's on the, the PB. You're going to be catching up to me real quick. You keep that up. And I, I might need to come back and, and try to improve. Alright, so it doesn't look I need to talk to Harold. Let's try... Let's try talking to Trace. Oh, no, Trace isn't even here, so it's not Trace. Maybe we're going to the mess hall? Doesn't appear so. Oops. You think I'm safe? I don't know, you keep it up. Keep on practicing. Up the elevator we go. I, I guess we're gonna have to talk to the boss. Maybe that's why we came back. Here's the, uh, the head of Minerva. Her name is Fortuna. I feel weird about it. I feel weird about it. Like something isn't right. Did something happen? When we finished the dive, I felt something. Like butterflies in my stomach. It gave me goosebumps all over my body. <sighs> I've never experienced anything like it before. Hmm. Perhaps it was exhaustion. I assume it took a lot out of you? Yeah, maybe. I did encounter Golden, though. So they were there. What did you do? Did they say anything? They didn't say much and vanished right after we prepared the memory. That's when I started to feel weird. Fascinating. And are you sure you're okay? Is the host okay? Yes, and yes. They know they can reach us if anything else comes up. That's good to hear. You must be so exhausted from your day, ES-88. I'm proud of you for tackling something this big. <laughs> Thank you, Fortuna. Now, get some rest. You may have expelled Golden from that memory, but I have a feeling this is not over yet. I need you on your toes. Right. I'll head to bed then. Good night. Good night, ES-88. I wonder if Gate's back from Trace's lab. Yeah, I wonder if Gate's back. There's Gate. Hey, Gate. Hey there. I brought the Neurodiver back. Did anything weird come up? No. Trace said all of its vitals looked perfectly normal. Ready to head back home? Yeah. So, how are you feeling after today? It reminded me of you. I repaired Lexi's memories, maybe pulled out Golden. 
but something in her memories reminded me of you. Is that so? Yeah, it was about BCAs and uh, this thing. Yeah? The BB procedure you went through. Was it scary? Oh, <laughs> I mean, it was only slightly terrifying. I knew the right people. So you're not tracked by the military or anything? Wouldn't they recognize you? Most BB BCAs aren't in their old bodies anymore. And they go by different names. Oh. My name is Gate, and this body has become my own. Free to modify as I see fit. Like giving myself the ability to lift a whole truck over my head again. Wow. Yes, AD, it's quite impressed by that. But you're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Luna. If you're still curious about BCAs, I've got a lot of stories I can tell you sometime. Stop! <laughs> I should invite her inside. Come on, ES-88. It's now or never. Wait. Is my apartment clean? <gasps> Do I have enough snacks? All right, see, enjoy your dinner. Shoot, I forgot to buy snacks. <laughs> you must be exhausted. I'll let you get to bed. No, I mean, yeah, totally. <laughs> ES88, are you blushing? Whoop, I'm beat. Sleep well. Good night. <laughs> Good night, Luna. You're right, Brett. I know, I know. Next time, I promise I won't chicken out. <laughs> <sighs> Let's get some rest, Neurodiver. Even the Neurodiver was just like, blorp for real, Luna? For real. Gotta stop this. Oh, we're dreaming about the next episode. Let's go! If you're the unfortunate galactic foe to face the magical commander, know that she never battles alone. The Nova Max, a living ship created by the universe's most powerful scientist, is also the companion of the magical commander. When connected through the Stardust chain, they are able to travel deeper than our surface worlds allow. You can't tell me this isn't a twerp reference. This is definitely a twerp reference, the Stardust chain, and the way, the way that looks. Reincarnated as a super intelligent mechanical life form, Lady Gamma sweeps in to save the commander in her darkest hours. They share an unspoken but deep bond, spending all their time navigating the galaxy, always looking for their most exciting mission yet. their powers combined, this terrific trio can take on any adversary who dares oppose them. Magical Commander, her instincts are true and just. However, is she ready for the torrent of terror ahead?
I mean, the narrator sounded like Golden there. I, I don't like that Golden seems to be in our brain already. I feel like the story is going to get real, uh, real weird with Golden being inside our brain or something. October 30th, 2070. That was definitely Golden. Yep. Is he trying to talk to me, or are my dreams just making up stories? Uh, am I being haunted now? Ugh. That would suck. <laughs> That's such a real response. Am I haunted now? That would suck. Morning, Nero Diver. Did you get any weird dreams at all after our first golden case? Hmm. Not really sure if that's a yes blurb or a no blurb. Haunted? I got a doctor's appointment today, right? I ain't got time to be haunted. We got the Nero Diver. Let's go. Did I absorb Golden? Exercise him? Either way, this mission's definitely far from over. It feels like an ever-growing web of seemingly random connections. Soon, it'll cover all of Neo San Francisco. N unless I keep fighting. Hey, ready to start the day? Not exactly. There's a problem. What's wrong? Trace is dealing with it in the lab. All right, let's go check it out. Did Trace see what's wrong? Is it about Golden? I'm not sure. I got an emergency message from Lucy and came here right away. Oh no. I hope everything's okay. I hope so too. It's hard to tell with Lucy sometimes. Maybe Harold forgot his password again. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, Gate? Yes? Do you dream? Yeah, sometimes. It's hard to remember them though. Why do you ask? What do you dream about? No, nothing weird. At least not recently. Last night, I dreamt about going to the mall with you and Trace. Oh, that's so sweet! What did we get? <laughs> the dream didn't get that far. Ah, bummer. I guess we'll have to go to the mall for real sometime. We do. Be right back. I'll go check in with Lucy. I feel like this entire game, they're just going to keep on, like, throwing this at us until the very end. We're just like, just kiss already. lab. Trace has asked for your assistance. Yeah, I'm trying to head there now. You know, the last time we had something like this, I think it was... Oh, what was it again? I, I think it was maybe... Aha, uh -huh. sorry, I've really gotta go. I'll listen to your story later. Thanks, Lucy. 
Okay, ES88. Have a nice day. Oh no, Lucy's memory has been corrupted. I got a feeling we're going to have to dive into Lucy's memory at some point. Credits roll, they haven't kissed, the neurodiver interrupts the credits and is like, nah, just kiss before we end this. Jeez, God, come on, ah! Exactly. <laughs> um, where's Trace? Trace? Buddy? Val? Oh, Trace is hanging out over here with Harold. How is stupid can you be? I didn't realize it was a scam. What did you do, Harold? Harold, what did you do? I didn't expect it to be a virus. Stupid. Right? Hey! Dude can't remember his password and now he's clicking on viruses. <laughs> okay, Harold. Walk me through what happened. <sighs> well, I wanted to gather some horror movies because Trace said she hadn't seen Monster Fight 6 Return of Mothman. I mean, to, to be fair... I think everybody should probably see that movie. This movie sounds awesome. No, I said I did not care. I didn't say I wanted to watch with you. I thought we could have movie night in the lobby this time. So you gathered it from a sketchy website? Worse, he got fished. I'm telling the story! Ah, my usual haunt is a great selection of 8 to 10 gay films. Very high quality stuff. Premium. But they throttle the downloads and have a daily limit. Can you believe that? In this day and age? Right, this is a good time to segue into our sponsor for today's stream, NordVPN. <laughs> Just kidding. I for Dios Harold! Anyway, I've had a profile in queue for a private service with zero limits. Lots of rare movies, too. <clears throat> I've been waiting forever for an acceptance email. So lo and behold, much to my surprise and delight, I finally got it today! <laughs> but ha ha! when I clicked on the activation link and added my name and password Harold my screen went black and this video started playing over and over I can't get it to stop watch for yourself hello Minerva did you know that the four most common passwords in the world are used at this very company? Love, secret, one, two, three, four, five, and Frankie Phantom 55. <laughs> I now have access to every file in the Minerva database, which is a pretty stellar move if you ask me. If you do not wish to have all of your secrets scattered across the public mesh, you know what you have to do. Ah. I see everyone is already here. I assume you've all seen the email. Claro. Ah, don't worry, Fortuna. Trace and I are handling it. Yes, I was just about to shut this down. So you're already on top of it? That's good to hear. What do we do? Do we have anyone analyzing this attack? Is there any information we can pull from it? Do we know what they even want? Not really, but we've already tracked them down. It was surprisingly easy. The hacker is known as Tomcat. Good old Tomcat. Hmm, Tomcat. That's a familiar name. A hacker that went by that alias gained some infamy for breaking into Parallax. We have a location for them on the corner of South Van Ness and 20th Street. Good work, Trace. ES-88, can you handle this? Uh. Make sure whatever they uncovered is covered back up. 
and neatly, please. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're asking. <laughs> Luna, I need you to erase their memory. Your years of training should make this an easy task. Um... And I need my Minerva employees to update their passwords. I'm so sorry, ma'am. It won't happen again. I know. Trace will make sure of it. Right, Trace. I will watch him. Yes. Good. Now at ES88, I'll ask again. Can you handle this? Do I want to erase memories? Erase memories? I don't know if I should be doing that. Why not? I recover memories. I don't erase them. ES88. I understand your fear. I really do. I was in your shoes once. Really? Of course, but at the end of the day, I had to do what was right for Minerva. I wonder what Fortuna had to do what was right for Minerva. I understand. The research conducted here at Minerva is a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it can save lives, restore memories, and preserve precious information that could be lost to time. On the other hand, it can be incredibly dangerous if it ever falls into the wrong hands. So while it might be a hard pill to swallow, drastic measures must be taken in situations like this. Excuse me, Fortuna? Yes? According to the Minerva Handbook, Esper memory handling is limited to viewing and fixing existing issues within the memory itself. If this person does have this information and it isn't broken, Esper's wouldn't be allowed to- I'll stop you there. I wrote the Minerva Handbook, and I know exactly what you're referencing. This is a very special case, despite the simplicity of the attack. This is still a very serious situation. If they have an in, there's no telling how deep they've gone. There is a lots of information that's not ready for the public at large here. A lot of information that could put us in harm's way. Especially if it's anything related to the Golden Butterfly case. It isn't your place to speak up on issues you don't know about. Una's starting to get a little bit uh, fishy. Now, I was speaking to ES88. Can I trust you to do what's right for Minerva? Yeah. You can trust me. I'm on it. Now, Gates will accompany you to make sure the Neurodiver is safe. I'll be waiting for your reports back. Are you ready to do this alone, ES88? Yeah! Yeah, I can do it! And I won't be alone! Gate will be with me. <laughs> right, Gate? Yeah, I'll be with you the whole time. Great. Oh, let's go grab some grub before we leave. I'm starving. So, Tomcat, huh? Have you heard of them before? From what I know, Tomcat is this kid genius who allegedly hacked into the ironclad security of Parallax. The OS developer? OS's and ROMs like Lucy, yes. So is Tomcat the reason why robots are all thinking on their own? The hack I'm talking about happened several years before the ROM awakening. But I did flip through a book or a collection of documents related to that. It was distributed through a lot of conspiracy circles though, and the source remains unknown, so no idea if any of it is real or not. But it presents some theories about a very similar hacker. It's pretty wordy, but I can loan it to you for research if you want. There's no time! You just don't want to read it. Uh, not true! I'm really too busy fighting crime and solving missions and... Wait, so what does this mean for Minerva? It's hard to say. Nothing leaked from Parallax when that hack happened. But if that document holds any truth to it, 
then we are dealing with a really high-risk situation for Minerva. And while I'm not comfortable with it, we do have to stop whatever information they might have from leaking out. Yeah. Are you okay with what happened with Fortuna earlier? Erasing memories sounds like a big task, but I'm no Esper. job is based on protecting people, saving people. I know. Am I really supposed to erase someone's memories? What if I erase the wrong ones? You won't. You've never messed up a mission before. I don't know. How do you feel about erasing memories? I don't know. Erasing someone's memory is... Not an ability I'll ever have. Only you know what's right. But I don't know what's right. That's why I asked you. I'm tracking down an Esper who's corrupting memories, and now I'm supposed to erase them using the Neural Diver? How does that make me any different than Golden? Whatever you choose, I won't judge you. Thanks, Kate. That really does mean a lot. We should head out now. Yeah. Alright, let's go meet up with Tomcat, another character from the first game. Wow, this place wasn't far at all. I think my favorite panaderia is close by. Mmm, we could grab some conchas, maybe some orejas for Trace. ES-88. Mission now. Pandulce later. Pandulce now, then mission. Ah, sorry. Food on the brain. I got some last minute intel from her on her way out. Oh, yeah? Yes, an apartment number. Apparently, it was left in the metadata for that video. A very deliberate placement. Yeah, she wants to be found. Do you think Tomcat wanted us to find them? Are we walking into a trap? Well, I'm here if that's the case. Ugh, everything about this is weird. Huh, I guess we should dial that number in at the door. Turing. Ah, yes. Um, is this Tomcat speaking? Oh, you're here. I'll be right down. Huh? Wait, but we didn't say... What's going on here? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, it's open. Did they just decide to buzz us in instead? ES-88, look down. Hey, little buddy. Hmm. Ah! Oh, sorry. You scared me. Uh, uh, are you Tomcat? 
No, my name is Turing. And you're from Minerva, are you not? Um... Yes. Excellent. Follow me. I'll show you up to the apartment. Uh, okay. Kate, they're so cute. ES-88, focus. But yes, I agree they're cute. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I know how to stay on my toes. Wow, this place is pretty nice. Oh, so, do you live here with Tomcat? That's correct. I've been roommates with them for a few years now. My room is right over there, near the big workstation. How did you know we were from Minerva? Tomcat mentioned that we might be getting some visitors from Minerva after a stunt they pulled. According to the personnel files they went through, there is a creature known as a Neurodiver which has two Minerva agents attached to it. ES-88 the Operator and Gate the Escort. Am I correct in assuming that is the two of you? I I yes. I noticed the large capsule you're carrying there. Is that the Neurodiver? May I see it? No. Well, I understand. Well, let me walk you over to Tomcat. They are also very interested in the Neurodiver. They may ask to see it as well. Tomcat, you have visitors from Minerva. They have the Neurodiver with them. But if you want to see it, there's a high chance the BCA will say no. Thank you. I'll be right out. It's watering day for my plants, so I'll be off to my room now. It was a pleasure meeting you two. Hey! Glad you can make it. I was hoping you'd bring the Neurodiver. How'd you like my message? Did I get the hacker voice down? Hold on. I have some questions. Ask away. did you know we were coming? <laughs> well, I've been snooping around Minerva for a while now and came across some employee records and projects. Something about a device that can read memories called a Neurodiver? And two people assigned to it, you and a BCA named Gate. It also states that currently you're the only two in an active status outside of the campus. That's still assuming a lot. We could have agents unlisted on active status off campus. Oh yeah, I'll admit, I was kind of rolling the dice when I sent that message, but uh, here you are. Did you really hack Minerva? I wouldn't call it a hack. It was a simple phishing email. I didn't think Harold would fall for it, but here we are. Why Harold? I'm a big fan of occult stuff and horror movies, and Harold's a little bit of an influencer in those circles on the mesh net. He loves talking about working in Minerva in him, too. It helps that the organization has already seen is a little ominous. I think he also does it so he can get some clout to push his filmonoid profile through the waiting list. Film... Is this letterboxed? <laughs> Filmanoid. It's a private mesh group for movies, music, and streaming shows. Tightly knit, long waiting list to get in. Harold has been bugging the hell out of them. Anyway, they require a private email to register, and a friend is a part of the administration. It wasn't very hard from there. So it's their private torrent site. Got it. So, Tomcat, I heard you were known as a kid genius. Yes, it is. It's definitely demonoid. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what the media like to say anyway. My skills are pretty exceptional for my age, but I still have a little help. So you are a pro hacker then? A pro hacker? I guess you could call me that. I'm no agent of chaos or anything, though. I just like poking bears and bees' nests sometimes. 
Especially if that bee's nester bear is awfully suspicious. Megacorps with a suspicious amount of money and power. Yeah, you get it. Making sure they're not doing anything monstrously awful. And I guess I also just do it for fun. Keeping my skills sharp. Hmm. Wait, so are those a pair of Red Zone 68 IMAX Vision Eyes? Yes, I got it installed a few years back. <laughs> Unreal! I know some folks with similar implants, but nothing as wicked looking as these. That's so sick. Uh, thanks. What's the install like? I guess it's a little different if your body's already mostly machine. I have a universal bus around the back of my brain in case that it attaches to. No need for direct contact. Whoa! Military grade, am I right? It was installed during my time in the military, yes. I've got to have you over another time to talk specs. Oh my. That might be fun. I'm free this weekend. <laughs> As I was saying, Tom Tat, why did you target Minerva? The largest information science organization on the planet? One of the best encyclopedic databases open to the public, but no source on how it's funded. Everything surrounding the campus constantly having reports of weird supernatural anomalies? Yeah, okay, okay, I get it. How could I not do some sleuthing? Especially when there are rumors about psychic activity happening around it. Anyway, I'm guessing if you know about my exploits as a kid, then you know about Parallax. Right. It was all over the news when it happened. Kid Genius sinks the Titanic of a tech giant, Parallax. House got raided. You were sentenced to a blackout from tech for two or three years. On top of that, though, I was also reading a lengthy document that mentioned a hacker that broke into them again around the end of 2064. Might have been responsible for the wrong awakening. That's the funky document dropped by some journalist around the shadier corners of the mesh, right? The source is unknown, but some suspect it was a journalist going by the pen name Alice, or Hildegard, or, or maybe Montgomery. Yeah, a lot of conspiracy nuts are eating that one up once it dropped. I wouldn't trust too much of what you read in that. But there's one nugget of special information in that document about the hacker. Something important to know. Like what? It's related to Parallax and my late sister Catherine. She helped me with that first big security hack. I couldn't have done it alone. And honestly, we didn't even expect it to work. So when it did, we were excited for a split second and then terrified. The next day, we had a SWAT team in our bedrooms, distressed parents, broken furniture. I had to think fast, so I took all the blame to protect her. Even showed them how I did it to prove it. Why would you do that? She was my best friend, and since I was a minor, I knew I wouldn't get in too much trouble. Not too long after my sentence, she was killed in a freak auto cab accident. And I'm absolutely certain Parallax was involved in it. Do you think they caused the accident? I work in InfoSec. I know the ins and outs of security for autocabs. I was able to break into Parallax, but that's different. Autocabs have another layer of AI-based security in case the software goes bonkers. The movement of the vehicle had purpose if you saw the footage that was leaked on the mesh. Accidents like the one my sister was in don't just happen that way, right? I don't know. Advancements in transportation have cut percentages of auto accidents by a large amount. It could still happen, but it's very rare. Anyway, that brings me to you and Minerva. You actually deal with psionic technology. You're the real deal. If I can somehow manage to dig out the evidence I need to nail this case using your abilities, I could end this right here and now. I know you were probably sent here to deal with me or something, but I really hope you can understand where I'm coming from. I believe you. I do. 
I do kind of love that this is tying up a loose end in Bombcat's backstory from the first game. You do. Yeah. If something happened to my family, I don't know what I'd do. So, I'm here to help. <laughs> this will be so intense. I can hack the hardware, you can hack the wetware. Oh my. Tomcat, you have a message from Jess. It reads, Hey Turing, sorry to bother you. Can you please tell Tomcat I'm waiting at Sunset's Cafe? Oh, right. Thanks, Turing. They won't return my text because they never check their damn phone. <laughs> Turing, stop. Seriously, I think their life would fall apart if you ever left. L-M-A-O. Anyway, I'll <laughs> give you that mug you wanted. Thank you. <laughs> Turing, why? Cool. Cool. This is actually great timing. Come with me to the cafe downstairs. Oh, I don't want to intrude. We can come back. Nonsense. Let's go. You should follow Tomcat to the cafe downstairs. Some expired milk. Back my necklace. Yeah, but I want it. <laughs> Who is Lady Love Dies? Let's talk to um, Tomcat and Jess. Sweet, you're here. This is Jess, my lawyer extraordinaire. It's pro bono, actually. All of this is off the books. <laughs> I'm just joking. Jess is my key into the whole case Parallax had against me and my sister. Again, off the books. Very off the books. Who are you two? This is ES-88, an agent at Minerva. And Gate, a BCA who is... What does she do again? Hmm. She's my friend. She's my friend, helping me out on the job. We all still work together. I'm assigned to the Neurodiver. We often end up going on missions together. Huh. I would have guessed girlfriend or something. <laughs> <laughs> now brace yourself. It turns out my snooping around Minerva paid off. ES-88 is not just an agent at Minerva. She's an esper. A uh, what? A psychic. A mind hacker. And that fancy aquarium is a one-of-a-kind synthetic esper called a neurodiver. They're my other key into this case. Tomcat, there are so many things wrong with what you just said. <laughs> Together, they can enter people's memories and figure out what happened to Catherine. Right, ES-88? 
Definitely. I'm here to help. Jess? Sorry to burst your bubble, Tomcat, but we don't have the legal precedent for any of that. The concept of an esper, or psychic or whatever, is still mostly an urban legend. I hardly believe what you're telling me right now. Do you think other people will take this seriously? We can't prove that ES-88 or the Neurodiver have so-called esper powers. And even if we could, the court will never allow it as evidence. It's too risky. Anyway, I'm here because I have something I think you want. Is that? This computer is the last piece of evidence released from holding. I thought you might want to look into it. Holy smokes. I never thought I'd see this again. What is it? It's the computer Catherine and I used to hack into Parallax. The police took it away when our house was raided. I have to break this open. I'll be back in a flash. I'll swing by later. Uh, Tomcat isn't coming back. They always get caught up in their own world, but we get used to it. Does Tomcat do this a lot? Tomcat cares a lot about their sister, and they'll do anything to get to the truth. It's one of the things I love about them. But sometimes they don't know when to give up. Can't Minerva documents be subpoenaed? Proving the existence of Esper's and their powers? Good luck with that. Minerva's information is behind walls of red tape. This wouldn't be the first time I've tried getting information on Minerva. I want Tomcat to have closure, and that's the only reason I'm doing this. Ugh. Mine's been in a fog. I didn't even realize the time. I need to head out. It was nice meeting you two, uh, and the fish. Make sure Tomcat doesn't get into any trouble. Hey, did you feel that too? Feel what? When Jess and Tomcat laughed. It felt like an intense flash in my head. The Neurodiver felt something too. I'm worried about them. They're affected by the same psychic energy as Lexi and Harold. Mm. Do you think it's golden? What do you want to do? Let's go check up on Tomcat. They definitely know about us, but we don't know what other info they might have on Minerva. And they might need her help. Wait. When are you going to... you know? Ugh, don't remind me. We're running out of time. Things got out of hand, but there's real danger here. I'm sure Fortuna would be happy to know that I helped people. Even if you went against her wishes? I don't know. But I'll deal with it later. <laughs> okay. I trust you. Lead the way. What's happening? I can't break into it, but I should know this. It's our shared computer. I created this encryption system, and she created the key to access it. It's like I forgot how to hack. What do I do? Tomcat, you did manage to get a psychic here to help you read memories. If their abilities are real, maybe they could help. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, could you, uh, do something? Well, I could try and look through your memories. Possibly find a reason for your brain fog. Hmm. I know it's somewhere in my head. Getting on this terminal should be like riding a bike. But, so, I guess go ahead, brain hacker. Hack my brain. Great. Uh, but maybe let's not call it brain hacking. Why not? Well, hacking implies I'm breaking in. 
I guess this is more like a psychic handshake. Uh, yeah, I'm down for a handshake. I'll need to take a look around, get to know you a little first before I dive. Cool. Make yourself at home, and let me know if you have any questions. Oh yes, I do want to take it. Let me take it. No, let me take it. I want this expired milk. Let me take the milk. <laughs> I made note of the expired milk, yes! On a Turing's room. This room's awesome. Turing's got so many plants. Wrong with toasters of the wings. Terrain's just going to info dump about plants. Five hours later. Can I select the fridge from over here? That's weird. Hmm. Look at this. Huh. A sticker. It says Diamond Syndrome. That's not part of this machine. And it's the only sticker on it. Maybe they were just really into one song or band. Might as well make note of it, though. All right, so we've got the expired milk and a sticker. I don't know if there's much else to interact with in here. I think we got everything. Hey, 
Are you done creeping around my apartment? <laughs> we found a sticker on your machine. It says Diamond Syndrome. We figured it was maybe a band or something. Oh, that. Yeah, that was the name of the daemon my sister and I developed together. Strong enough to pierce through the toughest tech shop. Once it got in, it would continue piercing and poking holes through various security systems and report its success back. That's the Diamond Syndrome. That's it. Just reporting a success or no success. It didn't gather anything else. Yeah, we didn't really want to collect information from Parallax. We just wanted to see our little toy go vroom and tell us if it did it right. And as you know, it did that really well. And the next day, I had about five or six armored SWAT guards in my room. I think we're good. Hey, are you done creeping around my... I think we're good. Huh, a sticker. It says Diamond Syndrome. Apparently there is one more clue. Let's find it. I looked at the cushions, computer and the air filtration. Did I miss something? I don't think I missed anything in here. Back in Turing's room? I looked at the plants. Books. Hmm. A journal. Looks pretty old. That's Tomcat's old sketchbook from when they were a kid. They're a little embarrassed by some of the stuff in it, but I like looking through it when thinking about things to paint. Oh, wow. Looks like they were hard at work making a Tomcat logo. Lots of pages sketching it out. What's all this mess of text here for, though? I can't read a single thing. It appears to be a string of base 64 text. I can read some of it if you'd like. Oh, is it like a machine language or something? It's a type of encoding. This says Tomcat, and that one says Hack the Planet. These other ones seem incomplete. This looks really cool. I should ask Tomcat about this. Hey, are you done creeping around my apartment? We found this sketchbook. Oh no. Oops. I guess Turing left that out. That's embarrassing. Sorry! It's cute though. We spotted the logo you were making for your name. <laughs> ah, yeah. Tomcat was originally my sister's hacker name. She passed it down to me after we completed the daemon we would use to hack through Parallax's security system. Felt that I deserved it more than her. I still don't think that's the case, but I was making this logo more for her before she did that. I kind of stopped working on it once I earned the name. How about this string of text? Oh, yeah. My sister was into converting text into binary or hex or base 64, so I kind of started dabbling with that too. <laughs> I think I overheard Turing reading these, but one is hack the planet and the other is just Tom. Okay, I think I have enough information now to help. I'm willing to try anything. Besides, it might be kind of neat. Let's do it. Alright, let's say something cool, flashing, or exciting.
Let's go saying something exciting. Neurodiver, access flash! Wait a second. This is the same cafe we were just in. Ah, uh, yeah, it's been here for like ever. Kat and I would always do our hacks here. Sipping on iced coffee, enjoying the view. Wow. How long have you been living above it? It's been a bit now. The cafe has good memories, so I jumped at the chance to live so close to it. It's so techy. It's like we're living in a computer screen. Weird. Why does my brain look like that? It's a fragment. Something is blocking you from remembering a memory in the cafe. Now that you mention it, my brain does feel foggy. It feels almost nostalgic focusing on it. But anytime I think really hard, it's like I'm treading water. Jules, I know you've got this. I think the only thing I have left to do is run this line. Well, what are you waiting for? Let it rip. Is it working? It takes a little bit to get going. Whoa, hold on, we're in. Really? <laughs> it's reporting back? Loud and clear, yup! <laughs> wow, it's going bonkers! We did it! Mm-mm, you did it. I'm so proud of you, Stinky! I couldn't have done it without you, Kat. <laughs> I should figure out a new alias now that you're the new hotshot. Oh, that's right! What were you thinking? Well, I was thinking about the key I use on this. That's just a string of text, though. Silly, it's just base 64. It means Midnight Angel. What? Midnight Angel. I remember now, Cat. Ugh, of course it would be that. We were just talking about it before the dive. Sorry about that. These memories can get pretty intense. <laughs> it's almost a little too much. <laughs> but without her, I never would have kept doing what I do now. She gave me this alias and I've kept it sharp for her, never faltering. I really miss her. This memory was brief, but I could feel the warmth she had for you. She seemed like a great sister. She was. Well, I don't feel any other fragmentation in the memory, so I think we're good to end this. Hmm. I suppose in the end, Catherine really did live up to her new name. It's unfortunate that their bond was severed so soon. Colton, what are you doing here? Did you cause this? You refused to do your job and chose to help this person. I, on the other hand, chose to be a valuable asset to Minerva. I assume this is what you're looking for? 
This sounds like the same voice actor as uh, Turing. You corrupted There's got to be something to that. On Minerva? The task at hand was to protect Minerva and their information. I did what was asked of me. What did you accomplish during this time? I chose to help someone instead of wiping their memory. A truly unfortunate choice. To be so selfish, deciding to play the magical girl that saves the world, only to put Minerva directly in danger's way. You corrupted them. You didn't accomplish anything. Well then, I will leave it to you to strike the final blow. Is this... What Tomcat found in the Minerva hack must be in here. What should I do? Uh, should I erase the memory or not? Let's not be a cop. Let's, let's just... We can't erase memories. I have to do what's right. I can't just erase someone's memory. If I do that, then what's stopping us from pushing any further? I'll be exactly like Golden. That's right. So, what's the point? I'll figure something else out. I'm sorry, Fortuna. Whoa. That felt... stellar. Midnight Angel. And that was Catherine. She was always there for me. I feel like such a dummy not making the encoding connection. <laughs> but now I can start digging into this machine. How long have you been above the cafe? Well, after everything went down, I felt connected here. I couldn't leave. Bingo, I'm in. Oh, what's this? Oh. Whoa! Catherine finished the logo! <gasps> it looks so cool! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I can't spend too long feeling sentimental. I better get back to this. Jess will want to hear about what's in here. Thanks for everything. Glad we can help. Me too. And hey, don't worry about the Minerva hack. I never kept any data, and I never planned on doing anything. I only needed you and Gates' names to make sure I got the right folks. Really? So, you don't have any super-secret research to spread on the mesh? Endangering the lives of Vespers and the organization? What? No, God, I'm not some kind of monster. As long as you're not out there erasing or messing with anyone's minds, at least. <laughs> That's good information to know. <laughs> yeah. That's a relief. <sighs> now I don't have to lie to Fortuna. I'm not about major corporate sabotage. I just like proving security systems wrong and finding vulnerabilities. Like with Minerva, you should really get Harold to change his password. And maybe learn to verify Link's email to him. <laughs> right. <sighs> We've tried. Well, I think we're going to head back now. See you around, Tomcat. Goodbye, Tomcat. Later, alligators. Farewell, friends. It was nice meeting you. Oh, and Gate. Don't forget, let's talk about those augments sometime. <laughs> let's do it. Well, that was a busy day. Yeah, we need to hurry back. Oh, what am I going to tell Fortuna? I'm sure she'll understand. She gave me a task and I went against her orders. It's pretty bad. 
She won't fire you if you're worried about that. She needs you. I hate disappointing her. I know. Do you feel good about the choices you made today? Tomcat might have said they only looked at trivial data, but can you trust they aren't hiding something else? G golden <laughs> I go everywhere with you, Luna. Do you believe you're saving people by taking the righteous high road and ignoring your real duties? What? What is the real reason behind this? To feel good about yourself? Are you not having enough fun at Minerva, flirting with your co-workers? <laughs> None of that is true! We are very similar. Leave me alone. Leave me alone! Hmm, your childish fantasy of being a magical girl can't last forever, Luna. Listen to reason, not your ego. Grow up! Luna! Huh? Are you okay? What just happened? You were quiet for a moment, then you started shouting incoherently. I just saw Golden, but it wasn't in a memory. What? They're here? It felt like they were in my head. You're under a lot of stress. Here, we're almost back. You should go straight to bed after talking with Fortuna. Yeah, you're probably right. Keep getting sent to bed, it feels like uh, Persona 5. Neurodiver. Mona just keeps on showing up. You need to go to bed. Neurodiver. I should go up to Fortuna's office. Do you want me to wait for you? You don't mind. <laughs> Not at all. I'll be right here. Hey, big. Thanks for lurking. S88, you're back. Please, tell me about the mission. Um, <clears throat> it went well. Did you complete the task like I asked of you? <sighs> I'm sorry, Fortuna, but I couldn't do it. Why not? It wasn't right. I'm supposed to help people. That's why I joined Minerva. I see your point. Well, thank you for being honest with me. I can't say I'm not disappointed, but I shouldn't have sent you to do this job so soon. You weren't ready for something so big. But I can do big missions, I promise. Luna, I appreciate your enthusiasm. But you have to understand why I'm hesitant. We may need to take a step back. Uh, yes, ma'am. It's late. You should get some rest. Okay. Good night, Luna. Good night, Fortuna. Hey, how was it? Was terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. I just want to go to bed. 
I'll walk you to your door. Do you want to talk more about it? Can we talk about something else instead? Sure. Are you excited for Halloween? Hey, Zill. Yeah. I think I'm excited for the costumes and the candy. I love reading horror books, so it's the perfect season for me. Sometimes I start reading them in earnest as early as September to get in the Halloween mood. Yeah. Do you want to come in? Do you want to come in and chat? I still have some energy from today. Yeah, that sounds nice. You have a really nice view. Oh my. Thanks. My favorite thing to do after a long day is just stand here and take in the breeze. <laughs> it makes the view from mine seem a little drab. Oh, I like your room. You have a nice view of the street and you can sit and people watch all day if you wanted to. I've never been one to people watch. I'd rather dive into a book. That's kind of the same thing, isn't it? The people you watch are just in the book. What do you mean? You can't interact with them. All you can do is watch their story go by. That's really deep. Magical commander leaps up and strikes her final blow through the dastardly cosmic space monster. A dramatic pause as she rises up and begins to walk away. Kaboom! Her stride is steadfast as the monster explodes into a violent storm of glittering starlight. Nothing sways her, nothing gets in her way. Her instincts and reasons are true and just. However, the court may see differently. Somewhere in the far corner of the galaxy lies the Cosmic Kangaroo Court. <laughs> How will the magical commander fare? Will the abandonment of her duties bring her begrudgingly behind bars? Tune in for an episode you won't want to miss. It's Halloween. I agree, this magical girl show sounds uh, quite interesting. Hi, 
doubt you're having any super vivid magical girl dreams, huh? Is Golden talking to you? Lucky you. More Golden, more Magical Commander. As much as I love Magical Commander stuff, this is really giving me a headache. What was that last thing they mentioned? A kangaroo court? Hmm. Good morning. Yes, 88. Are you okay? You look really tired. Thanks. Is it that obvious? No, I mean... It's okay. I had another golden dream last night, but it was a different golden. Another? Did they say anything? Uh, sorta? It was still Magical Commander themed, but... One thing stood out. Hmm? Do you know what a kangaroo court is? Oh, um, well, if memory serves me right, I think it's kind of a fake court that ignores rights and laws to pass a quick judgment. Or alternatively, a real court with a judge in someone's pocket, which gives it an unfair bias. Oh, so it's a real term? I thought it was just dream junk. They talked about going to a kangaroo court and a jury and... Still thinking about Tom Cat and Fortuna? Uh, uh, well, maybe. But it also had me thinking about that lawyer we met. I believe her name was... Jess? Yeah. You mentioned feeling something after she left yesterday. Think it's golden related? Maybe. I really need to check in with her again just to make sure. Ugh. Wait, we never caught her last name, did we? I don't believe so, no. Hmm. Do you think Tomcat can help? Oh, that's right. They wanted to talk specs with you. Did they ever give you any contact info? They messaged me after we left. I'll ping them about just now. We should probably talk to Trace, too, just in case Tomcat doesn't respond. Good idea. We can head over there as soon as you're ready. I don't regret leaving Tomcat's memories, but... I hurt Fortuna in the process. Why is it so hard to do the right thing? I'm always disappointing someone. Hey, are you okay? You seem a little more preoccupied than usual. Yeah, I'm okay. What's with the top hat and owl? <laughs> breakfast before we had to trace his lab? Yeah, I could eat. But let's be quick. That's fine with me. <laughs> I was worried you might skip breakfast. 
It's good to know you're still enthusiastic about food. Yeah, sure. How are the breakfast tacos? Mm, they're okay. I'm almost done already. <laughs> you should slow down. Are you sure you're okay? I wish I caught it sooner. If I spoke to Jess, she needs her help. I can feel it. <laughs> if she needs our help now, she will still need our help an hour from now. It's important that you take time for yourself. If not for you, for me. Sure, I'll hydrate. Thanks, Kate. Yeah. You're right. I'll make sure to take breaks for myself. I'm okay, though, I promise. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween, Harold. Are you coming to movie night today? Maybe, if we can make it. Ha 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 ha! Ah, awesome. Do you want to go? I don't have time to think about it right now. Maybe when this is all over. Buenos dias to both of you. Hey, Trace. Good morning, Trace. I need your help with something. Claro. What is it? All right, so... When we set out on our mission yesterday, I met someone who might be in trouble. What made you think that? Well... We were all sitting in a cafe, and at first, things felt pretty normal. But after she left, something hit me like a flash. It made my hair stand up. I've also been having really vivid dreams since I started this golden butterfly case. And I think I'm hearing Golden's voice in them. De verdad? Last night they gave me a message about them. Kind of like a... Like a premonition, I guess. A premonition. And Golden is involved. If these flashes and dreams mean anything, then yes! A hundred percent, I think they're involved. Are you feeling okay, Luna? I'm not sure I made the right choice in my last mission. Fortuna was really upset with me. Luna, I know you. You always choose the right thing. I didn't erase their memories. I went directly against Fortuna's orders. Listen, it is Fuerte. Whatever is going on between you and Fortuna, you'll work it out. And she'll understand, okay? Yeah, okay. Bueno, now, <clears throat> which mission was it again? The Tomcat mission. The person we met is a lawyer in the Bay Area named Jess Meese. Oh, so Tomcat responded? Was it a text message or something? Yeah, they know my eye augments alert me, so that's all they've been doing. <laughs> Look at you, Cyber Esper. Anyway, they gave me the last name but not any address said that we can figure that part out ourselves. What a brat. Okay, no problem. Jess Meese, occupation, lawyer. Ah, I see. A hybrid with bunny-like ears, bluish purple hair. Yes, that's her! She posted on Loopy Log that she was at a place called... Uh, cheek Time? Mira, it was geotagged. Cheek time. <laughs> I know the place. 
That's just 20 minutes south of here, near Oakland. Great. We should head out soon, then. Thank you, Trace, for everything. Of course. Don't forget to take time for yourself, okay? I will. See you later. Bye, Trace. Hasta luego. Y buena suerte. Cheek time. Looks cozy. It is. During the day, they just serve coffee, wine, and some local craft beers. Then, around the evening, they open up the full bar. I used to come here often, back when I had Thursday drinks with my friends. Used to? What happened? <sighs> Work got busy. Maybe I'll give them a call later and set something up for November. I think you'd like them. Really fun people to be around. Anyway, ready to head in? Yeah, let's kick it. You seem out of it. Is everything okay? Huh? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Still, just a little tired. <laughs> we can go back outside and figure out a plan of action. No need to rush. No. No. I'm good. Do you want me to take the lead? No, it's okay. I think she trusts me, and Tomcat probably told her what happened. Just back me up, okay? I've got you. Hey, Jess? Hey, you're Tomcat's psychic extraordinaire, right? <laughs> you can say that. You know, Tomcat told me everything. What you did was very cool. <laughs> Don't mention it. No, I mean it. Showing that kind of judgment against such a big organization takes a lot of guts. And look at you, you're still here. Cool as a cucumber. Jess is right. 
about you being cool. <laughs> Thanks. So what led you to cheat die? Did Tomcat send you here to try and convince me to use your psychic powers for a court case again? Uh, <laughs> no, it's not that. We're actually here to talk about another case we're on. How'd you know I was here? <laughs> we're literally psychics. Let's go. Literally psychics? It's what we do. Oh. Uh. <laughs> we found a recent loopy log posting on the mesh that said you'd be here. That makes more sense. Well, you found me. What's up? I actually wanted to talk more about what happened with Tomcat. When we last spoke, I sensed something was off. With me? Well, with your... Uh, mind. How have you been lately? Mentally. Have you felt anything strange since yesterday? Weird dreams or things feeling out of place? Actually, I have been feeling weird since helping Tomcat, but I couldn't put my finger on it. I thought it might have been brain fog or something. Are you having trouble remembering things? I don't know. Maybe? I know it's hard, but I promise. Whatever's going on, I can help. Well, it's a bit of a mix. I have trouble remembering, and I have anxiety, like, like something is looming over me. Is there a specific memory that feels harder to remember than the rest? Well, there is this one memory that's been haunting me since yesterday. The thought came up out of the blue. It's about my former mentee, Maxwell. We were at the zoo, and I can't remember what I did. All I know is, I let him down, and now, I can't bring myself to call him. I doubt he'd want to hear from me anyhow. Would it be okay if we tried working with a neurodiver? Do you mean that thing you've been carrying around? What is it? It's an esper, like me, but it helps boost my abilities when diving into people's minds. I just gotta attach it to myself, and then you, and then... How does it... attach? Its little tentacles act like a big hand. It just needs to grip onto bare skin. Uh, after that, you just might feel a little chill when the dive starts. I guess... While I don't know the full extent of what you did to Tomcat... I'm willing to see this through. <laughs> right, Big? <laughs> okay. Neurodiver? Okay, let's say something... Strong! I mustn't run away! I, I didn't mean the Evangelion line, jeez. <laughs> been here since I was a kid. Huh. Looks like someone lost their wallet. Oh. This is Max's. What are you doing forgetting your wallet like this? Oh, better get it back to him. It is the Oakland Zoo. This game is set in uh, Neo San Francisco. <laughs> yes, <laughs> zoos are depressing. I don't go to zoos either. <laughs> Alfie, let's talk to Alfie. Welcome to the Oakland Zoo, managed by the Conservation Society of California. Adventure and knowledge await you as each of our attractions feature rare and exotic animals with the utmost care towards conservation and wildlife educate. Alfie? Alfie I-83, that's me. Oh, Miss Mies? <laughs> I, 
it's just Jess. How's the job working out for you? It has been a dream. Thank you for helping me find it. I have been able to do so much more to help people outside of my primary function of dispensing cool, refreshing water. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Big. That's terrible. Glad to hear that. Are they treating you all right here? Yes. I'm one of the more popular guides here, in fact. I think both kids and adults like my compact form factor and fancy hat. <laughs> well, it, it does look nice on you. Thank you. So, I gotta know, do you have any favorite animals here? Oh, it has to be the North American River Otters. And the alligators and various turtles. Sometimes, I get to help hose them down! They all seem to really appreciate cool, refreshing water. Do you still dispense water for people? Of course! I'm super popular on warmer days. It was nice seeing you. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Miss Me- uh, I mean, Jess. Oh, I should inform you that the uncaged peaceful protest is happening near the Flamingo Plaza right now. Ah, thanks. That's what I'm here for. I knew she would be protesting the zoo. Have a nice day. That's my Jess. Okay, fine. I'll talk to Maxwell. Jeez. Hey, I found your wallet outside the zoo. Thank you. Wow, I'd really hate to lose this. My pops gave it to me. I noticed a photo inside. Is that you and your dad? Yeah, at my high school graduation. I look young and happy, and he looks so proud of me. Sounds like something you want to keep around. You're telling me. <laughs> Thanks again for finding it. I'm glad you could make it. Of course, I wouldn't miss it. You've got quite the turnout for this uncaged demonstration. I'm really proud of you. Thank you, thank you. I couldn't do it without you. Please, it's all you. <laughs> Kinda curious what the attendance looks like in the other cities. So, what can I do to help? Just relax and get to know everyone. Maybe make your presence known. I know it'll boost morale. I'll check out the scene and get a temperature check on the protesters here. You always have to be wary. The crowd got away from me. But I think they're all good. I would appreciate the scope of though. Don't work too hard. You're here to take part. As you say, boss, I'm on it.
the uh, human revolution are like a uh, anti-hybrid organization of like religious zealots. Basically, they they lobby to uh to make sure that hybrids are like you know yeah they're the anti-trans people. to stay attached, yes. Normally, human revolution people come in at least a little prepared. This was just plain sloppy. Made notes of misinformation, yes. I don't know about that. Oh, the frog lady! I do remember seeing that story pop up on the mesh a year or two ago. What? Like I said, it was a fake alarmist article that was propagated by the human revolution several years ago. Somehow it keeps rearing its ugly head up almost every other year on the mesh. Anyway, as soon as this guy mentioned the story, I knew what they were up to. Right. I'll make a note of them.
So they brought a bunch of explosives in? What? Looked like some heavy fireworks and a few smaller homemade explosives, yeah. I've never seen this kid in the usual circles. And then this. Even if they were new to this, it just feels like bad news waiting to happen. I had a hunch they were a human revolution goon. Noted. There are definitely some rotten eggs here. I can smell them. I have to warn Maxwell about this. Did you get to meet with everyone? I did. And I don't want to alarm you, but I think you have a few bad eggs in the bunch. What? Why? Some of these protesters? They didn't know left from right. One even showed me their personal arsenal. He wanted to make a fireworks show out of the protest. Not the fun kind. I think we're dealing with some human revolution plants here. I don't know, Jess. I can vouch for most of the people here. But not everyone. Well... Yeah, I don't know everyone here. But you can't assume someone's part of the human revolution just because they got some facts wrong. I appreciate you looking out for me, Jess. But I think it's going to be okay. Uh, Max, I... Trust me, Jess. You don't have anything to worry about. I don't know, Jess has a lot of experience in this kind of thing, dude. <sighs> okay. I'll trust you. I'm just asking you to be on guard. Just in case. I got you, Jess. Don't worry. He really believed in the cause. What? He saw the best in people, and I couldn't blame him. My heart might be jaded and ice cold now, but I was just like that when I was starting out. It's something I admired. Did you hear that? It sounded like it came from outside. Let's go check it out. have lab coats. Uh, are those guys from Minerva? And is that a tank? Why would they be here? Uh oh. I don't know. I don't have any memories of Minerva. This has to be from my memories. Oh no. How is this happening? Is this bad? Sh should we stop? No! No. It's just another corruption. I can fix this. I promise. It's just another corruption. We're going to get one of these times, aren't we?
I hate that this one has so many different combinations. This usually goes so much faster. Finally. Max, do you see that group of cops? Damn, who called them? I see that punk with the goodie bag is with them. You mean the explosives? Yeah, I told him to leave earlier. Looks like he doesn't have the bag anymore, though. <laughs> Look who else is there with him. <laughs> Whoa, that pump. Is that... Brian Mulberry. So the human revolution's tip of the spear decided to step in on this. Looks like he's got a few other cronies with him, too. This is probably a bust. That kid might have planted the bag somewhere in the group. We gotta warn them and get the hell out before things get nasty. Son of a... I never even saw that guy before. I should have been more... Don't beat yourself up over it, Max. We need to move fast. Right. I'll disperse everyone inside. You find a passage out. You need more than just yourself to do that, Max. I've got friends in there. We'll figure it out. If things get hairy, make sure you have the paperwork ready for us. So it was a setup! What? Yeah, sort of. The human revolution people you saw? Definitely plants. That punk hid his bag somewhere. But luckily, someone found it before the police could. It still made it onto Loopy Log, though. The human revolution was all too excited to brag about how they saved civilians from a riot at the uncaged demonstration. Hmm. Weird. The fragment is gone, but something still feels off. Do you remember where you went afterwards? Not really. It starts to get fuzzy. seeing that butterfly over there? Near that gate? Yeah, but... I don't remember an exit being there. Hmm. I wonder where it leads. <laughs> Only one way to find out. <laughs> Whoa. This memory feels like it's happening days or even weeks later. Huh. I know for a fact I didn't go to the Chapel of Chimes after the protest. So how did we get here? Well, memories aren't always one-to-one -to, -one to what we see, and aren't super linear either. Hmm, <laughs> right. I have to deal with a lot of eyewitness testimonies in my work. It's helpful, but there can be a lot of fuzziness, biases, and time changes at play. A lot of piecing together the patches on your side and seeing what makes sense. Yeah, something like that. So, that's kind of what we're doing right now, piecing together these patches. The last place you were at, and this one must be tied together emotionally somehow. Got it. Let's keep going and see what's here then. Okay.
Sounds like Luna's been playing too many survival horror games. Again? Another lab coat guy? What's that capsule on the wall? It's a tank used back at Minerva. Is this changing my memories? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I need to focus on... It's the second time this has happened, and I know I've never seen any of these Minerva things before. It's going to be okay, I... I'm getting concerned, and I have a right to know what's going on. Okay. You're right. Uh, so, um... This anomaly we've been tracking... I think it's... Inserting my own memories into these dives. Inserting? So, will this have any permanent damage? No, no. I don't think it has anything to do with you. I think they're messing with me specifically. They? Who's they? And why are they in my brain? Golden Butterfly. They were also in Tomcat's head. And I think they jumped into yours yesterday. That's some seriously messed up stuff. Why didn't you start with that? I had to be sure. And now you're sure? Extremely. But I've handled them before, I can do it again. If you say so. That was it! Hmm. But where's Golden? Did I...? Are they gone? Hey, Max. Uh, sorry I'm late. I had a meeting that ran longer than expected. Not a problem. Glad you could make it. Ah. This place isn't too far from where I live, but... I can't believe it never hit my radar once. <laughs> well, even if you don't have any friends or family here, it's nice to visit just for the atmosphere. Oh, and speaking of family, I'd like you to meet my dad, Richard. Pops, here's the mentor I've been telling you about, Jess. Oh, um... You've got a bright kid here, Mr. Davis. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Uh, so, Max, it's been a hot minute since I heard from you, after the demonstration. Why the sudden call? Uh, yeah, sorry for being a bit off the grid lately, but... So... Before I met you, my pops was the best moral compass I could ever ask for, always helping me sort out right and wrong. All I had to do was pick up the phone and he was there. That's why... It's in his honor. Sounds like he was a great guy. One of the best. That's why I wanted to meet you here. I need his spirit to help me tell you what's been in my head lately. If this is about Uncaged, I told you not to beat yourself up over it. You couldn't have predicted what would happen. I, I know. I know. It's just... Being there and... Seeing those people and thinking about what we do, I never know if it's enough. If what I'm doing is enough, outside of some weekend headlines, what did we really think we were going to accomplish by walking around a zoo? Hey, come on, Max. You're getting beat down by your critics so much you're repeating them. A coalition like Uncaged needs peaceful demonstrations to galvanize its community. The human revolution aside, there were still a lot of great people there. A strong community you built. Yeah, but it doesn't matter how strong they are. This world will keep on spinning regardless. Heinous crimes keep happening, and these organizations will keep getting bigger every time... 
What are you getting at, Max? You know those documents you've been digging through for your friend? Tomcat? Oh, you mean the Parallax case? Max, no, that's history now. Tomcat doesn't see it that way. And I know you don't either. I went through those files, and I think there's a lot more to that case than what it says. <sighs> we weren't hired to go against Parallax, or to use client files for our own pursuits. Jess, be real. We both know your deal with Tomcat is more personal than client files. What are you talking about? If I've learned anything from you, it's that sometimes you have to bend the rules to do what's right. You're going to get disbarred and throw away your reputation if they catch you. My mind's already made up, Jess. The real struggle was finding a way to tell you. So, are you a vigilante now? <laughs> Far from it. I'm the same Maxwell, with the same values. I stand for justice, no matter what. I don't expect you to stand by me, but I hope you'll respect where I'm coming from. Of course. I love you for worrying about me. But I can do this. What? I can't believe I forgot about that. Aww. It seems like a really tender moment. Max, so that's what really happened. I feel like I can finally breathe again. You never failed Maxwell, Jess. If anything, you inspired him to make such a tremendous leap. <laughs> That's closer to how I'm seeing things now. Looking at it all again, I carried so much weight around the idea of being his mentor. I don't think I was ever really ready to guide someone else's life, but I pushed myself anyway. <laughs> Whoa, Max, where did you go? Oh no, I don't think we're done here. I won't let Golden get to me. Cheers to a memorable year. Cheers. You really like this place, huh? <laughs> it's my little sanctuary. It's been a minute since I've heard from you. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I've been really in my head about a lot of things lately. So you're okay. Parallax isn't trying to hunt you down? I'm not overflowing with credits, but I'm fine. It turns out, everything we did together made for a great resume in the consulting world. What I do totally works within the realm of helping the right politicians get through bureaucratic hoops. It's enforcing real change in local government. And the vigilante work isn't a conflict of interest. <laughs> Maxwell, that's... <laughs> I can't tell you how happy this makes me. Again, Jess, I wouldn't be where I am if it weren't for you. The world around us is crumbling. I'm beginning to feel warmth again, Luna. Golden, there you are! Why are Minerva lab workers showing up in Jess's memories? Maybe, after all of this, you should have a nice long rest. You've been so tired. Existing only in memories is such a cold experience. But, every time you appear, the barriers continue to wait. <laughs> what? This is exciting, Luna. I'm feeling warmth again. Golden! Golden! <sighs> Jess and Kate? What are they doing here? Oh, I'm... back out? 
I'm not connected to the narrow diver anymore. Is it evening already? And with that, I raise a toast to you both. Huh? Thank you so much for helping me figure out my brain fog with Maxwell. Even with reassurance, I still can't help but feel like people don't want to stay friends. But seeing that again, and so vividly too, it felt genuine. <laughs> ES-88 takes all the credit, but I'm happy to take a drink. ES-88? Oh, uh... Ah! <laughs> uh, cheers to that! <laughs> cheers. Cheers. I should give Maxwell a call. Radio silence seems to be a pattern between us. I'm sure he'd love to hear from you. We're always up to our necks with work. It's hard to stop and catch up sometimes. <laughs> Just like you, ES-88. Maybe you should rest. Y yeah Maybe I should. That's right. A long rest. Dream a long dream. Uh... Huh? Let the barriers continue to fall, ES-88. Let them fall. Let me in. g gate What's happening? Am I losing it? ES-88, what is it? Huh? You just shouted my name. You sounded startled. Anything wrong? Oh, um, no, sorry. I, I think I just saw a spooky costume or something. <laughs> you must be really exhausted. Let's get you home, okay? Yes, please get some rest. And thank you again. I think I'm going to hang out here for the rest of the evening. See if Maxwell wants to meet. Maybe get Tomcat out here. It's getting close to the golden hour, after all. Huh? Happy hour. Treat drinks. Ah! Uh -uh. Right. <laughs> Sounds like a nice way to end the day. Have a good evening, Jess. Good night. Neurodiver. Neurodiver. We're almost back. Hang tight. Gade? Something happened back at the bar. During your dive? And after. I think some of my memories were blending into hers. What do you mean? I saw my own memories as fragments. It's never happened before. I don't know what's wrong. And then, I don't remember finishing the dive. It felt like I just woke up and you and Jess were talking. Have you been sleeping well lately? The Esper Handbook recommends up to 10 hours a day of rest. If not, you could really hurt yourself. I thought I was getting enough rest, but now everything is mixing and I can't tell the difference between dreams and reality. Should we go check in the trace? No. No. I need to get to sleep. I can barely keep my eyes open. Okay, fine. But I'm taking you to trace first thing tomorrow. I'll check in on you tomorrow. Thanks, Kate. Oh, and Luna? Yes? It's Hollow's Eve. Make sure you lock your doors and check under your bed. 
What? Why would you say that? Oh, uh, sorry. I, I was just trying to lighten the mood. Because it's Halloween. It's fine, sorry. I'm just... I gotta go. Good night. Okay, good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow. You're okay. You're okay. <laughs> Just relax. This is my... Kind of impressive... Hidden through... Fresh air might help. I love helping people, and I love my friends, but I can't keep holding everything inside. I'm so scared. Please, just... Yukino is always ready to save the day. She kicks butt and always has a smile on her face. I can do that too, can I? It's always so foggy over in the OSF. I'll take living in sunny East Bay over that fog zone anytime. Nothing left to do but go to bed. At least my blankets are cozy. Sweet dreams, Neurodiver. Morning already. Oh, the neural diver is asleep. Well, their vitals look fine. I guess they're just a bit sleepy. to wake up. Hmm. Something is different about this view, but I can't put my finger on it. Neurodiver? <sighs> Morning already? Oh, what a weird dream. 
The neurodiver seems okay. They're still sleeping. This is a limited edition figure. I have to thank her. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I sleep in? <sighs> is it evening already? Jeez, oh. how long have you been waiting? Did you even knock? I haven't been waiting long. Are you ready to go? Yeah, let's start the day. I had a weird dream last night. It felt like I was awake, but everything was... Different. Different how? Like the Nero Diver was still asleep, and they're always awake. And then I saw the sun rise from my balcony, which is impossible because... Are you not sleeping well? You can't do your job if you're not taking care of yourself. I, I know. <laughs> I am taking care of myself. If you cannot handle your workload, you should give up. What? I said, do you want to grab breakfast before we start our mission? Oh. I don't feel very hungry. Are you okay? You've been out of it since we got on the elevator. Yeah. I'm fine. You were really throwing me some tough love just now. Oh, was I being too hard on you? I apologize. I just want what's best for you in the Neurodiver. I care about you. I know. Thanks. That was weird. Is Gate messing with me? Something feels off. I need to see Trace. All right, that feels like a good spot to uh, actually stop for this time. Um, we'll pick back up when we go see Trace next stream. I'll probably again stream this next Friday. I don't know how far into the game we are. Feels like we might be about halfway. Maybe. Who knows? It could only be like a quarter. Could be more than that. Who knows? But we'll find out more about what's going on with the corruption in ES88's brain next time on Neurodiver.